Okay, consider this the intro to part 24 of the 1066 tractor. Here's the three tubes that go into the torque amplifier. And I posted an update video yesterday uh, saying I wasn't sure what I was going to do about them. But I, I received another comment from Jerry Alvin and... Uh, he too, uh, even though he didn't actually come out and say it, uh, he gave me the part number for the uh, O-rings that go around those tubes and the size of them. Um, so it's kind of swayed between the, my two viewers that have made comments on it. It's kind of swayed my decision to bite the bullet and, and pull those tubes back out again and uh, replace the um, the o-rings on them um, is you probably know from um, chapter 23 that uh, when I put these in it it uh, kind of sliced the um, the o-ring um, on it um, would it hold it may, um, but it, again, I, I don't really want to take the chance, even though um, you probably could get to these things um, after it was back on the tractor. Again, there could be issues. Uh, you know, diagnosing issues that you may have once you get the same back together could be a, a, a pretty hard road to take. Um, it could be any number of things. Uh, again, there's multiple ports and multiple plates that go on this that hold the um, hydraulic pump. And if you get one of those gaskets wrong or uh, you don't get an O-ring seated in there like uh, there's an O-ring that goes into that little uh, seat right there um, if you don't get them seated properly you could have leak by and then trying to figure out what it was it was it one of the O-rings on the tubes was it a no ring someplace else was it a gasket leaking someplace um, or is it some other issue that could be going on with the uh, with the hydraulics so uh, again uh, what I would prefer to do after receiving those two comments from viewers is um, bite the bullet and pull them tubes out and get uh, new o-rings for it and uh, get them reseated in there properly so that I'm pretty sure that if I do have an issue that that's not going to be the the problem with them o-rings um, you know if I left them the way they are uh, it's always going to be in my the back of my mind and every time that there's a little hiccup with uh, anything I'm going to think it's um, the, a problem with those o-rings so um, what I'm going to do is uh, I as I alluded to yesterday in my update video that I am going to be posting a video this week and it's going to be um, um, it, it following this intro it's going to be about brakes and the seal uh, an axle seal and it's going to be kind of all over the place, but it's uh, stuff that I've got and that I can uh, can be posted. And um, I'm going to go on the search to find these O-rings so that I can get them replaced. And I'll show that when I do it. But anyways, here we go. Um, again, brakes in axle seal. One of the things that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this... Uh, uh, brake pedal bracket off of it too as long as I've got it stripped down this far um, I might as well get this stuff off because as you can see uh, down here it's just caked with dirt and I've got to imagine there's um, it's probably caked with dirt behind it also so 
um, whatever I can do um, to make it easier to get this dirt out and get these parts painted um, I'm gonna try and do it I'm not I'm not gonna make a big deal I'm not gonna show you a lot of it but um, just so you kind of know where my mindset is and where we're kind of going with this thing um, as long as again as long as I've got it stripped down this far there's no sense in not doing it this one bolt is really tight is it tight because oh yeah it's tight because the thing was weighing on it bottom bolt seems oily for some reason you kind of see oil coming around that hole too I'll just check it out when I uh, after I get it cleaned up this is a brake valve off of the uh, 1066 it's um, I may have called it or I, I kind of still do call it the master cylinder it's not really a master cylinder because Actually, they use hydraulic pressure, and when you uh, push, apply the brakes, it just opens the valve and applies that hydraulic pressure to um, to the corresponding brake, whether it be right or left. But what I didn't, um, I, I'm tried to look for a rebuild kit for this. Not that I'm not saying that it needs a rebuild kit, but as long as I have to have it off of the tractor. I wanted to rebuild it um, you know put I'm assuming there's probably o-rings uh, seat seals or something in there um, I can't find a rebuild kit so I call up my guy that I get parts off of and he says well I, I can give you another one for a hundred bucks and I'm saying I've got one you know what I mean I don't want another one I want the parts to fix it um, so couldn't get it um, I don't want to get I want to put it in the parts washer. I want to steam or what I'm going to do is power wash it first um, then put it in the parts washer but I don't want to get fluid inside of it so what I did is I went out to Napa my local auto place supply store um, they had these caps uh, to go over it. they only had three in stock I need four um, I got the four of them for five bucks, actually five dollars and five dollars and sixty-one cents. But uh, then I can power wash it. I might even uh, put it in um, the bead blaster and and clean it up afterwards, and then repaint it before I put it back on. Um, hopefully, I'm still going to continue to look for a rebuild kit for it. Uh, can't believe that you couldn't, wouldn't have a rebuild kit for it. Just going to shoot a little video of me putting this thing back on. I've just uh, slipped the seal housing over the axle, and uh, what I'll do is uh, hopefully pick this up and get it in there. Okay, I'm back on this. Uh, what I had to do is take a couple of longer bolts and um, get it started pulling in. And then uh, I can go back and put the short, shorter bolts in. I'm going to do a little voice over here while there's a lull in my conversation while I'm doing this. I'm leaving this part of the clip in, even though it's kind of redundant. I mean, I put the seal on the other side of the tractor, and you can see that in uh, chapter 19, 
is where I put the other seal on. The point of it here is that this seal uh, in seal housing went on entirely different than the other seal. When I put the other seal on, I was actually able to hold the axle up and, and slip the seal on far enough where the bolts would start. On this side, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with it to the point where I actually went and got a jack and a block of wood to hold the axle up so I could screw around with that housing to get the bolts started in it. And then I actually ended up having to use longer bolts to draw it in far enough so that it uh, I could get the regular standard bolts in it. So I'm just going to leave this camera running and I'll edit it out. Just uh, kind of a word to the wise here that, you know, not everything, even though really the things might be similar, they don't go together the same way. <clears throat> Let me let that off a little bit the jack. Maybe I've got it just bound up a little bit too much. So as we get another lull in the conversation here as I'm doing this, um, I just want to reiterate that I'm going to get the O-rings for, or try and get the O-rings for the tubes that go into the TA. Um, I'm also going to be able, I'm going down to uh, the Case IH dealer, somebody that I haven't tried to see if I can find a, a rebuild kit for that brake uh, valve assembly. Um, I really just don't want to pull that thing apart without knowing that I can get the parts or have the parts to rebuild it in case I screw up O-rings or the gasket. So um, I'll bring you back. Well, the next episode should be uh, longer and more thorough. Okay, I'll bring you back. <laughs>